Hello my friends, welcome to my channel and I hope you're all fine. In today's video, I'm gonna show you one of the best and cheapest electrolyte for making a super capacitor. On my channel, I have a lot of videos uh, about making super capacitor and on the comment sections, most of you asking that what kind of electrolytes, what kind of um, active materials you can use to make a super capacitor. In this video, I'm gonna show you and uh, tell you how you can make one of the best and cheapest electrolyte and after that, I will demonstrate a super capacitor which I use this electrolyte uh, inside it and I will show you the uh, efficiency of this electrolyte. This electrolyte is very practical, very easy to make but it is very effective very efficiently to make a super capacitor. If you want to learn how to make a super capacitor you can visit my channel and learn everything about super capacitor. So let me show you the electrolyte I will introduce in this video. This is one of the best and cheapest electrolyte for super capacitor. As you see, it is a um, brown color electrolyte. Inside it, uh, I have deionized or distilled water and some acetone. And inside it, I also add some uh, sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. The ratio should be uh, one ratio uh, acetone and three ratio deionized or distilled water and about uh, one molar potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. Let's say if you uh, use um, 10 milliliters of acetone, you should add 30 milliliters deionized or distilled water and um, put one or two grams of uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. And uh, after mixing uh, all of the materials, you have to wait for about one or two weeks because acetone and water uh, is not mixing very well when you add uh, potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide. So you have to wait for about uh, one or two weeks. After about one or two weeks, you will get this brownish um, electrolyte. This electrolyte is very easy, very cheap to make, but it is very effectively, very efficient uh, electrolyte. Uh, if you use this electrolyte to make a supercapacitor, the operating voltage of your supercapacitor will be 1.6 volts. So it's pretty good, pretty nice for uh, operating voltage for a supercapacitor. 1.6 volt is pretty nice. So you can use uh, this electrolyte. There won't be any uh, electrolysis in your supercapacitor. The lifespan of your supercapacitor, the longevity of your supercapacitor will be very, very long. Now, now I have a small supercapacitor here, which I use this electrolyte to make my supercapacitor. Now I will test it and show you the capacity of this supercapacitor. First of all, let's measure the um, initial voltage inside it. Okay. And just measure the voltage. Okay, as you see, there is zero volt inside my supercapacitor. Now I will charge it. I have a lead acid battery. One cell lead acid battery is 2.1 volt. I will charge my um, supercapacitor with this battery for about 20 seconds, not too much. Okay, I will just charge it for about 20 seconds. When we use this electrolyte, there won't be any electrolysis in the supercapacitor, so you can use this electrolyte uh, with peace of mind. Okay, I think that's enough. Now let's uh, measure the voltage inside it. As you see, we have um, 1.50 uh, volt. It will decrease a little bit until uh, 1.4 volt. Now let's um, see the power of our supercapacitor. I have this DC motor here. I will run this DC motor with my supercapacitor. Okay, as you see, it can run this DC motor very fast. Uh, the capacity of this supercapacitor is about 20 farads. So it can run this DC motor for about 5 or 6 minutes. 
Now let's uh, run this small blender with my super capacitor. See? Now I will charge it again for about 10 seconds and after that I will run my small blender. Okay, just for about 10 seconds will be enough to charge my super capacitor. Okay, that's fine. Now run DC motor again. You see, at this time, it ran it much, much faster. Uh, only with this super capacitor, you can run this blender for about 20 minutes. That's pretty nice. Now, let's remain voltage inside it. As you see, it has still uh, 1.22 volts in my supercapacitor. Okay, that's pretty nice. Okay, my friends, we get the end of our video. Uh, you learn how to, which kind of um, electrolyte you can use for your supercapacitor. This is, um, believe me, gentlemen, this is one of the best and cheapest electrolyte, homemade electrolyte, you can use this electrolyte for your super capacitor. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you enjoyed the video, please subscribe my channel and take care of yourselves. See you in the next videos, my friends.